Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today guys, we are back in the NBA 2K21 Next Gen. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything's going well for you. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build Brandon Ingram here at NBA 2K21. So you got to make this build your small forward. You can go power forward if you want. I'm going to go small forward, left handed jersey number 14. Go ahead and hit continue on this. Now, he is 6'7", so we'll just leave it at 6'7". His weight is at 196 pounds, so it's not the minimum. We're gonna, I'll go with this 196, and his wingspan is a 7'3 wingspan. So what you can do is you can max this, or you can just go 7'3". I'm gonna just leave, leave the physicals as his are actually in real life. We'll just go with this 196 pounds, 7'3". Uh, body shape, again, that doesn't really matter, um, but I would say he'd probably be solid or defined. It'd probably be the one that you could pick. Um, I'll just go pick whatever one you prefer, really. This doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue on this. Now, for these attributes, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade the speed, the excel, and my stamina at first. For me, this is just what I like to do at the beginning. I like to not forget to upgrade these. I just feel like you want to do it at the beginning so you don't forget. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and add these attribute points, and I'll talk to you guys about it. All right, guys, so this is what I have for the build right now. We have 12 finishing, 12... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Where, where did that go? Okay, so we have 12 finishing, 12 shooting, 15 playmaker right now. I don't have any zero. I don't have any defensive badges. I just threw these on perimeter D just for something, but I want to show you guys something. So, real quick, this driving dunk, you can go ahead and put this higher, but really, there's not a point to put it any higher because at this 90 overall, you're going to be getting... You'll be getting your all the contact dunk animations, so why put it higher than a 90? You don't need it any higher. That would just be, you're pretty much at that point just wasting points to get that 95 versus a 90. It doesn't do anything to you um, like skill-wise. So what you can do with these points, guys, you can spend these on your mid-range shot if you want. That is a complete option. I'm going to leave this. We'll leave this actually at 13. Uh, otherwise, you can go with this 12. Either way works. I want to get some defensive badges, so I'm going to throw my perimeter D up, and I want to show you this. So you can throw these on steel. That's going to give you seven. You can max out your steel. Otherwise, throw these on block, you'll get six. But with this the, the key thing with this block is with, with this block rating. You're going to be able to get chased on artist and rim protector. If you're not going to put them on Hall of Fame, don't throw this any higher. There's not really a point. You could just throw it to here. So then at this point, you can get chased on artist, intimidator, and rim protector. And then throw these on like interior D. That's not going to give you any more badges. So you can throw them there and then like throw these on defense and rebound. Right now, that's going to put you at six. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. So I'm going to lower this interior D. And you don't necessarily need this interior defense. That was just an option. You can throw, max out your perimeter D. Throw at least on steel or on your block that's going to give you 11 defensive badges which is great otherwise you can then you can throw those there that's going to give you 13 there as well otherwise you can go defensive rebound that's going to give you 13 you could really put them wherever you'd like i mean there's a lot of things you could do um if you put them on interior d right now that's going to give you 14 so if you definitely want that you can and i'm just going to lower this so we get 14 badges and then with these last points i'm just going to spend these on my mid-range then that's going to give me 16 shooting badges and then with these last points i'm just going to spend these on my vertical so this is going to give me 12 finishing 16 shooting 15 playmaking, and 14 defensive badges. Now, Brandon Ingram, on his build, he has no defensive badges. So if you don't want these defensive badges, you don't need to do them. You could spend these all in your offensive categories and do that there. I just did that with this build. It, like, made sense. It was really easy for me. Like, it was just, why not put them there? I was like, I can throw these on pass accuracy in my free throw, but that's not going to help me. And, like, these finishing stats, you don't need these any higher than this, truthfully. Still be able to make things with an 82 driving layup. So if you maybe want more finishing badges, you could lower these, but I'm going to leave this at 14 just to have it. Now, I know Brandon Ingram, he doesn't have any, but I'm going to leave it like this. Now, for these takeovers, guys, I feel like Brandon Ingram, he's going to need limitless range, and I would probably give him pull-up precision. Those are probably the two takeovers I would give him um, in any order. Um, I'll just do pull-up precision, and then we'll do limitless range for our takeovers. You can do one of the slashing takes. I mean, really, it's up to you. Do whatever you want for your takeover. I'm going to go with these. Go ahead and hit continue on this now. For this build, guys, we are going to be getting a two-way scoring machine. Similarities, we're going to get Latrell Sproul, Brandon Ingram, and Gordon Hayward, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the badges I would throw on this Brandon Ingram build. Pump this up to a 99 overall. When it comes to these 14 defensive badges, I'm going to put clamps right now. We'll just throw it up to gold. I'm going to put chase down on bronze. We'll put rim protector on gold. I'll put intimidator on hall of fame just so we can help, you know, make people miss shots. And then I'm going to put pogo stick on bronze and then we'll throw pick dodger on bronze. And then what I can do with this is I'll just throw clamps up to hall of fame. So that's what I'll do for these defensive badges. And again, you could do more like post type badges if you wanted to do. You could do a post move lockdown if you wanted. But I'm just going to do these for these defensive badges. Now, when it comes to these playmates, making badges hands for days whether they're on hall of fame quick first step i'll put on gold i'll put bailout on bronze i'm gonna put ankle breaker on gold guys you can break ankles with any build this year so you might as well use this badge that's the way i see it why not and then we'll throw unplugable on bronze stop and go and tight handles all on bronze and then dimer on bronze just to get a little bit of a passing boost now for these shooting badges i'm gonna put deep threes on gold dead eye on gold we'll put corner on bronze we will put 
catch and shoot on bronze. I'll put difficult shots right now. We'll throw that up to gold. Now, we do get volume shooter as well. So really, what you can do is I'm going to throw difficult shots up to Hall of Fame, and then I'll put volume shooter on Hall of Fame. You don't need to do that. Otherwise, you can, you know, use Hotzer Hunter, Green Machine, Blinders could work, other shooting badges you could use. And for these finishing badges, I'm just going to put Posterizer on Hall of Fame. Might as well. We'll put Fearless Finisher on Silver. Oh, uh, where is it? Slithery on silver. Uh, Giant Slayer on silver. No, I'm going to put Putback Boss on bronze so we can do putbacks. And I'll just put Protots on bronze. Putback Boss just so we're able to do putbacks. Without this, we can't do putback dunks. So you might as well throw that on there in bronze just so you can do putback dunks. I mean, you'd rather have the animation than not have it. I don't see why you wouldn't want it. So that's what I'll do for these finishing badges, guys. But this is how I feel that you can build this Brandon Ingram build here in NBA 2K21. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe for more NBA 2K21 builds. But anyways, guys, it's been King Clutch here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, have a great yesterday and peace out, guys. Thanks.